Introducing the diorama Feeding the Squigs. Starring Scummo the Defecator. Featuring the Fluffy One. Snuggles. Cute Thulu. And Little Brother. And a special guest appearance by Busby. This is Feeding the Squigs. G'day, it's Brack the War Boss here. How's it going? Now, today is the 25th of February. Well, that's if you're watching on the 25th of February. I'm recording a day earlier and I'm in Australia, so, you know. Well, this is meant to go out on the 25th of February, which is Squig Day. I did a diorama. It's a first for me. I haven't really done dioramas. This is it, which I call Feeding the Squigs. And this was loads of fun. As I said, it was a first. So lots of new techniques, new ideas. I had no idea where I was going this when I first started this idea at the beginning of this month. And this is what I come up with. And I'm quite happy with it. I'm really happy with this. Um, yeah, please just punch as old people like to say. I'm not quite sure what I can say, so maybe I'll just go through a few stills and um, show you what I did. So let's go and have a look. Okay, this is a little bit of a vlogger type situation. Uh, I decided I'm going to do something for Squig Day and I thought I might do a little mini diorama with all the squigs. So this is me. Filming. I'm going to use these four little squigs that I'm going to play around with and make some sort of diorama. Uh, so follow me on the journey. I'm sure it'll be fun. Okay, well I had before squigs and then I thought, hey, what I can do is I can actually get in and add a grot. And so the whole theme of feeding the squigs sort of happened. So I just decided to put on this old little piece of scatter terrain here that I had lying about. Next up, I stripped and cleaned the bits that needed to be stripped and cleaned, and then I primed them all black. Then I plopped down some base colors on all the elements that I was going to use. With a couple of coffee stirrers or paddle pop sticks, some wood glue, and a couple of pieces of sprue, I fashioned this little drinking trough. Okay, so for the water effect, I just used hot glue and just chucked in there to make it all wavy and such. Then I gave it a coat of Lothlorien blue and then a couple of uh, washes with mainly Nulm oil. Unfortunately, you can't see it in this photo, but after that, I put some rubble, just some base rubble on the top of there and uh, then wash it again with the nail and the oil and a little bit of dry brushing with the blue to give a more grimy, grotty sort of feed mixture. Yummo, I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. Yes, yeah, so um, this is what it was sort of looking like after it's almost done, the feed trough there. So I, there's the little cute thulo and scummo there just sort of trying to see how it won't all work and fit together. Real simple paint job here with um, Lothurn blue for the squig, the uh, red tongue, uh, which was uh, Wesdaco red, washed with the Beltane green and a bit of highlight there with the Keldor blue. So a similar blue with a little cute Thulo here. And the yellow is just the uh, Flash Gits yellow and a slight little wash with Beltane green. It's a bit of a pattern emerging here, isn't there? Inspired by the local frog we have here, the green tree frog, I decided to do a green and yellow squig for Snuggles. 
a little bit of a bright yellow there and some blue on the edges to bring out the colors and some nice big pink lips who doesn't like pink lips unfortunately no stills for little brother but this was just a quick corn red some of the lotharian blue yellow a uh, little bit of wash and um, you can't see it from this angle two little pink racing stripes a typical goblin uh, print for scummo here so it's uh, layer green over war boss green washed with beltan green and the lothurn blue and the fulgrim pink for the clothing and the buckets are made or oh, sorry painted with uh, grey knight steel as usual you can't see it from this angle i did put a little bit of hot glue on the other side of the buckets and wash them with blue and nalma oil just so it looks like there's uh, scraps coming out of the bucket and into the feeding trough i put down numerous washes of various colors to make the bottom uh, the the ground look wet and yucky and messy as you would expect at some sort of feeding pen not 100 percent happy with the brick wall there i decided to do another dry brush with uh, the the bone what's that bone called it's called screaming skull and then I also did a little bit of dry brushing on the, the rubble there to bring out those rocks to make them pop a bit. And voila, peanut butter jelly sandwiches. The diorama is finished. Huzzah! So, there you go. That was my first ever real diorama. So, what do you think? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Tell me, put in the comments below. I had a blast doing it, so and it's gonna go up on my on the display because I'm pretty happy with it. I'm, I'm I'm pretty stoked. So I can't say anything more. So what I will do, I'm gonna take off, but before I take off, let's give it a little twirl so you can just have it so you can have a little look at it. Just one more time. And uh, remember, if you're going crumping, you've got to bash early and bash often. For watching i hope you enjoyed that if you did please like subscribe and share do all the algorithm things and if you would like to help me out financially uh, there's always a buy me a coffee and patreon the links are in the description okay trying to total off so remember if you go on crumping you've got to bash early and bash often